Hey everyone and welcome to my channel today. Um, I hope that you are enjoying the fun we are having over in the um, Anna's Craft Cupboard community where we're running the October Cyber Crop um, called Going Old School. I am working with the English Challenge. Bryony specifically asked me because she knows that I do a lot of journaling and as you saw on my close-up there was a ton of journaling on my page. I started with uh, this sheet of background paper by Chamel from her um, Starshine collection and the idea of using this circle to build my layout on I also I was watching one of her videos and it really inspired me. So I pulled out also to go with it my Schmel Little by Little collection. I've got the 6x6 paper pad and I'm pulling out a couple of patterns here. I started with that fun cloud print. Uh, Charlie Bear is the photo that I am scrapping and Charlie Bear is my big boy's um, bear. He got, I'll, I'll give you a quick rundown of the story, but like you saw there's a ton of journaling on that page. Um, but basically my big boy received him for, I think it was his second Christmas or second birthday. And he was, um, for those of you that don't know, Charlie Bear was a character in a TV show. And um, Jacob loved the TV show. And then when he got this for Christmas or birthday, I can't remember which it was, they're so close together. Uh, he, he was happy, but it wasn't like the, wow, this is amazing gift. And we were okay with that. Charlie Bear just kind of sat in the background for quite a while. And then all of a sudden, one day, Jacob just decided that he wanted Charlie Bear to sleep with him. And then one day turned into a week, which turned into a month, and he's now eight years old. Uh, and Charlie Bear sleeps with him every night. If Jacob goes on sleepovers to his grandparents' house, Charlie Bear goes with him. Um, Charlie Bear recently had a bit of an incident where he's... So you press his tummy and he talks, uh, and his tummy, he, he stopped talking. Um, I tried to fix him and I couldn't. Luckily though, my husband is pretty handy and managed to work out what's going on, replace the speaker. Um, but this particular morning where I've got a photo of Charlie Bear, he's sitting up on our kitchen bench and um, Charlie Bear now has become a bit of a... He, he Jacob still sleeps with him every night, but this particular morning we'd had a rough morning and I was like, look, let's go get Charlie Bear. I'm going to put him up on the bench here and he can watch you show Charlie Bear um, how good you are at getting ready, you know, he can watch over you. And that was enough to encourage him. So, you know, Charlie Bear has gone from his safety, he's this big safety thing for my boy. Um, and I wanted to document that because, you know, I don't, I don't know how long, how long Charlie Bear is going to last. I don't know how long my boy is going to love him for. And I just wanted to have this story in his album because, you know, maybe this is something that he will, ha you know, when he gets a bit bigger, he'll hang on to and pop Charlie Bear away and yeah, who knows. Um, but yeah, that's the story of Charlie Bear. You can see I've just pulled out um, a bunch of, a few different pieces of ephemera, some stickers. This is all by um, another one of, sorry, this is all from the Chamel Little by Little collection. I pulled out one of the border strips and layered that behind. I wanted to lighten it up a bit so I've cut a chunk of that um, pink pattern paper with the white hearts on it. I do have three sheets of that paper because I love both sides of it um, and it's the one that's got the big chevron on the other side. I absolutely love it. I don't know why but it's just beautiful. So because I wanted to add that pink paper behind I've had to pull everything up. Those stickers were super sticky so I've used my EK Success powder tool and um, made them not sticky. Pretty happy with how all my layers are looking here. Um, and I think I'm going to start sticking from the bottom up in just a second. Making sure that everything's lined up just how I want it. Um, I cut this, it's, I think it's just an ephemera piece to tag that I cut in half. Yeah, I'm just sticking all my layers down, starting from the bottom and working up. Um, it's really hard to see on the video, but there's a little yellow flower that's now sitting at the top of the hello that was tucked behind. 
so I moved that so that you could actually see the yellow flower. Um, I'm just using my ATG, sticking everything together. Uh, that little square is from the 6x6 paper pad when it's cut apart and it says my friends. Um, and I think that the sticker with the little creatures on it says anything is possible when we're together. Um, Jacob has also, um, if my back's playing up or um, if I'm just feeling pretty average, he will often bring me Charlie Bear and go, here, mummy, have a cuddle with Charlie Bear, he'll make you feel better. Um, he does the same thing for his little brother and um, he, he doesn't mind sharing Charlie Bear because Charlie Bear's good at love, apparently, which is very, very cute. Um, just using some pop dots to add a few different, uh, to add some different dimension to all of my bits and pieces here. I'm going to come in with my gold Heidi Swap Colour Shine. I'm going to sprinkle all over those layers there. And I'm going to pop that aside to dry. I'm also going to sprinkle around that big dark circle, knowing that that's where I'm planning on journaling. Now, I did end up with more journaling on this page than I had planned to. Um, but if you follow me long enough, you, do, you would know that I do tend to tell stories with my scrapbooking more than I don't. So, yeah, this was one I definitely wanted to get into his album. Backing my paper with... That's not my paper, that's my photo. Backing my photo with some tissue paper. Just laying it up for some interest. <clears throat> I'm going to pop this little piece up and stick that to the photo so that I can work on... What am I working on next? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, cardboard behind my photo for a little bit of dimension. And I pulled out these two different lots of stickers thinking this was how I was what I was going to use for my title. So I get Charlie Bear down in this font and then I tried that bigger black and white font and it was too big. So I found this one in the light blue with the little polka dots. Um, and I was always just going to call this layout Charlie Bear, but it kind of evolved, and I, I actually really like the way that it looks on the page. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm sticking bits down. So I stuck my camera to the right hand side, then I went to stick it down. I'm like, hang on, my the sizing's not right. What's going on here? So the camera comes off, and I'm going to move it to a different place. I realised that I needed an extra layer of foam behind that sticker because there's cardboard behind the photo and then the other half of that sticker is popped up on the photo. The camera's going to go up into that top cluster there. Try this cloud again. There's my title. And I'm not going to make you watch me stick that down. If you have these um, these alphas, they are beautiful. I love them. Um, who's ever heard of a chipboard sticker actually sticking those? These guys are super sticky. So I've got these um, vellum white alphas. I believe I got them in a Becky Higgins Project Life kit or something. Um, and I don't use them much but they were just the perfect finishing touch so my title now reads the story of Charlie Bear. Um, I'm gonna go in with a few last minute bits and pieces. I really like that banner. It just fitted there and I was like hey I'm gonna use that. I, pull out, I pulled out a couple of um, little fray stickers that I'm gonna stick on the photo. And then I'm going to go in with these little puffy stickers. The first one that I put down is the little bear head. So cute. Just double checking the ephemera. Nope, everything's a bit too big. I've got the stickers that go with this collection. I'm going to use some of the foam stars because, you know, it kind of fits in. I'm just turning that one so that it fits in all the gaps. Then I put the magic on the right hand side of the photo. I'm 
going to add a couple more of these puffy stickers. I think I use a puffy camera and then a couple of little puffy flowers. Love these stickers, they're so cute. Another little yellow flower. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do my journaling around that arc there. And you'll be able to see that in my close-up. So you can see I've gone in and added my journaling. And it just keeps going around and around and around and around. Um, so make sure you head over to the Anna's Craft Cupboard um, Facebook group. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description box below. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And if you're in Australia and you remember Charlie Bear... Leave me a comment. Let me know what your kids think of Charlie Bear or how you feel about Charlie Bear. I think he's the sweetest little dude. Um, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the cyber crop and I will be in the group and sharing and commenting and having a lot of fun. Thank you ever so much for stopping by and I'll see you soon. Bye.